Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me ABM Farhan and if you haven't already please do subscribe and also turn on the notification to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now without any further talking let's just get straight into our topic for today which is the Logitech F310 gamepad. Now you might ask that what's so interesting about a gamepad like this. Well this came out 7 years ago, yeah 7 years ago but still manages to be an Amazon bestseller in terms of PC gaming hardware. So the Logitech F310 comes in two color variants. The first one is the black blue one which is the one I have right here with me and there is a silver black one. This is a full plastic construction however there are no glossy cheap plastic to be found anywhere in the build thanks to the use of a matte texture which feels pretty premium for the price. Now the buttons all feel pretty nice although a bit more feedback is left to be desired. The shoulder buttons are surprisingly clicky and also the triggers have a bit of resistance. Now the left and right analog sticks are pretty robust and clicks in quite nicely. However the d-pad is pretty disappointing. It feels mushy and also the I mean, feet yourself it drifts a lot sideways so it doesn't feel premium and it feels like an afterthought rather than something built in with the controller. So now let's talk about the connectivity. So as you have noticed by now, this thing has a wire. So this is a 1.8 meter length wire and this connects to your PC via USB port. Now quick disclaimer, this is a PC only controller and it's not compatible with any kind of Xbox or Playstations. Now when you connect this or when you connect this with your PC, first up your PC will recognize it as an Xbox 360 controller which is a good thing because Windows generally has better support for Xbox controllers rather than PS controllers. Now one thing to note here, there is this toggle switch right in the back which has two inputs, first the X input as well as the direct input. Now what's the difference between the two you might ask? Well. X input actually gives the controller to resemblance an Xbox controller whereas a direct input gives it the resemblance of older game pads that are more preferred by many PC games out there because they are programmed on that legacy code. Now this both can be used with Steam as well as Epic Games however with other uh, applications such as you play I have noticed that sometimes this is not picked up however you can definitely uh, use steam to reprogram or remap this controller with those other applications and games as well so everything has been quite positive so far right well there is this one big issue and a drawback which is the thing that this controller does not support any kind of haptic vibrations it doesn't have a motor inside and you won't get those vibrations or feels that you might get from many other expensive options like the xbox one x controller as well as the playstation 4 dualshock or the ps5 dualsense now we can forgive this drawback when you factor in the price tag which is i think the main factor when it comes to being the amazon bestseller and as this is coming from a pretty reputable company logitech who is pretty renowned throughout the world for making great computer and uh, peripherals people lean more towards these known companies and when they see that they're finding these devices on such low price they tend to buy them more and i can agree with the overall uh, consumers because this thing feels quality as well as has a cluster because i have also used this cheap habit controller which did not even last me a year and also it doesn't turn on anymore the switch is pretty finicky and the buttons also feel pretty bad although this has a motor inside and has much more features than this one this one is the better choice as it's durable 
it has more support as it's from a renowned company and also it has a better software and feel in games which is much much more important than more gimmicky features so that's been it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please do subscribe and leave a like down below and that's me signing off see you in the next one